So we were looking for something that we could take when we travel to inflate our tires on the Airstream, on the truck if we needed it. And we were down to two units. One was the DeWalt cordless air inflator, which seemed attractive because it's really small. We didn't want to travel with a huge air compressor, but we ended up going for the Vi Air. It was down to those two and the Vi Air one, so we'll show you uh, how that's working for us. All right, we're still at the campground here where we continue to uh, play with some new things that we got. This morning, we're gonna take a new air compressor that we purchased. We bought a unit from Vi Air, so we're gonna take that out and uh, show you what that's all about. All right, so you get to witness the unboxing of the uh, air compressor. Just arrived from Amazon. And it is the Vi Air 400P RV automatic portable compressor. Now I'll mention, so we were going back and forth between two different compressors for our final choice. One was a very compact DeWalt unit, which was interesting to us because it was super compact, but we really were also concerned about having a unit that was gonna give us enough power to fill up the tires that we have both on the truck and the RV. So this unit seemed to be, it was like the most, the highest rated unit that we were seeing. A lot of good reviews. I guess the one initial con out of the box for this one is, from what I could tell, it doesn't operate on AC. It operates off of attaching it to the truck battery. So once we take this out, we're gonna show you how we have it attached and we're gonna take it for a test drive. All right, so let's open up the box and uh, take a peek inside. And one thing, I mean, right off the bat that I really like is it comes in a carrying case and everything in here is, I mean, that, that's it. That's the only thing in the box. So we're not dealing with uh, opening up a whole bunch of separated plastic pouches and putting everything together. We'll see, we'll see what happens when we open this up, but uh, this is a nice um, bag to carry this. So this will be traveling with us in our truck. Um, so it's nice to have um, something that's compact, easy to carry. It's, it's not too heavy. So that's, that's nice. Let's take a peek inside and see what we've got. And this is, you saw me just take it out of the box and this is the first time I'm seeing this as well. Yeah, we'll start in the big pouch because that's where the compressor will be. So we have instructions, which I will be reading. And then we have, well, let me start with this. There's a, a tire pressure gauge, so we'll be using that. And then we have the unit. So the air compressor We'll take these off in a minute. These are the connectors that'll clamp onto the truck battery for power. Um, some attachment here, we'll find out what that's for. This is, um, we'll figure out what we're doing with this, but this will be used with the compressor. And that's all that's in the big pouch. There's two more pouches on either side of the bag. Small pouch in the front that has an extension cord that'll be to connect to the power. And uh, I know we'll be using that this morning. And then there's a pouch on the rear that has another, basically the, the same thing as this. So I'm gonna go away for a bit, curl up with the instructions, and then we will uh, fire this thing up and take it for uh, its maiden voyage. All right, so the first problem we're having is trying to connect the main hose to the compressor. I've given it a try, Julie's trying it now, so there's the piece that uh, we're working with right now and it shows it in the photo on the packaging that it attaches to the compressor at this point, right there. And the instructions, um, as I'm going through them, 
they're not extensive and they're not detailed and all it says relative to this part is to connect this piece to the compressor and it's not connecting so we got to figure this one out <sighs> that was tricky so we finally figured this out well uh, by a youtube video thank you youtube yes so apparently it does not just connect directly on there is a sleeve that goes over the connector and you have to pull that sleeve down in order to release those bearings that are in there so now they're loose and released they, sh they and should then, print that in the darn manual julia and then you stick it on then there it is there it is all right stop stop why <laughs> So on the Vire, there is a red, it's just a plug into this opening here that allows you to attach the air filter. So it just screws right into here and this keeps, um, when you turn it on, it keeps debris from uh, going into the unit itself. And just put it. Okay, so we mentioned when we were unboxing this unit that there was two separate hoses so kind of the same way that we connected the main hose to the unit itself is basically how you connect the second hose which is an extension hose which we're going to need so that we can reach from the battery of our truck all the way back which is i don't know what do you think at least 25, 30, 30 feet or so feet, 30 feet to the rear tires of the Airstream. So same connection here. So we have the you know, both hoses hooked up. And then the last thing we hooked up, and again, it's the same process as when we hooked up what Julie just showed to get the main hose on the unit. Um, we did the same thing to hook up the, the digital gauge. It's not a digital gauge, the, um, the inflation gauge. So I think, I think we're all hooked up. And if we are, we're going to check this out one more time. And then the next step will be to hook it up to the battery. Okay, now we have the last piece to connect that connects directly to the stem of the tire for inflation. Again, it's the same mechanism. You have to pull back. Voila. Okay. All right. So let's see. What I've seen people do with these is some of them will actually have the unit sitting up in their truck when it's on. I guess we're going to see if there's enough cord where maybe we can leave it on the ground. You think that would be a better thing to do, Julie? I do. Okay. Because what I've seen in the videos where people have it, they'll have it propped up here. And once the compressor kicks on, the whole thing's like vibrating and it just seems like you'd probably not want that happening inside here. So we're going to try to keep the unit on the ground and get her connected into this. So we're ready to take our air compressor for its first use and to use it, even though it's connected to the battery of the car, you don't want to turn it on until you turn your truck or vehicle of choice on. Um, apparently you want to do that to make sure you don't drain your car battery. So we're going to turn the, uh, the truck on. And it's air compressor time! A trial and error, I heard it go on first and then I heard it stop. And perhaps it's like we had a, one of those large six gallon compressors at home that would make the noise while it was filling up and then it would stop. So perhaps that's the same thing there. So we have the uh, tire minder monitoring devices on our tires. So a couple of tips to work with these. There is um, a nut that's on the stem that you have to make sure you've got it as far back as it can go so that you can get the gauge on. And then our stems here are threaded. And so on the uh, inflator item here, there's threads in here. So when you attach it, you're going to do so by threading it on. It's a little different than when you pull up to the gas station. And then um, 
My tires are rated at 90 PSI. I'm currently uh, only about 67, 68. Tire minder wasn't happy, so I'm gonna be going up to about 80. Almost there. I think good enough. All right. Quickly undo. That's fine. All right. And uh, so that's the unit. Convenient that we can now take this with us if we need to pump up when we're on the road, when we're at the campground, either the tires on the trailer or on the truck, we can do that. I was going to do a decibel reading on the unit itself. But given that the truck is also running at the same time, um, I'm not going to be able to get just it. I will tell you when I turn on the air compressor, the truck's much louder than the air compressor is. So from a noise perspective, that'll give you a sense of uh, what you're dealing with. I was actually expecting it to be substantially louder than it is. So it doesn't make a whole lot of noise. Easy to use. So, so far so good. That's our review of the Valle Air. Again, there were some other items that came with it. This extender, this apparently is for like, if you've got a dually and you need to have a, a way to get to your rear tires, you would use that for that situation. We don't have that. And then other than that, there's some attachments like for, I don't know, kind of like the, the, the basketball type of tips, some, some other kind of tips. For our purposes, we're gonna be using this basically for our tires, either at home or when we're on the road. So I'm glad that we have this because knowing today that our tires are under pressure and we don't keep our rig at home, we keep it at a storage that's, that's almost an hour away from where we live. It just makes it easy this way to get the tires where they need to be. So hopefully this video was helpful for you. We tried to share a few extra tips that the instructions don't walk you through. If the video was helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe, and come back for future videos to see additional products that we have and catch us at the places where we go. Thanks for watching.